Hello guys, uh, my name is Evans and uh, welcome to this uh, video tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to start looking at um, uh, data manipulation uh, from the February March 2017 IGCSE ICT Paper 2.1. Now, the scenario is that you're going to prepare some reports for the company. So measurements are in meters and volume in cubic meters. Prices are per cubic meter and um, make sure that all currency values are displayed within two decimal places okay so step 20 using a suitable database package okay um import the file m2017boards.csv so i'm going to um, import this file so i need my access um and then create a blank database i'll just say tutorial and okay so we have um, a blank database so we're going to import the file in question so browse to the location where your files are and import the boards file okay so just verify that it is actually boards.csv so boards.csv okay and go to next first row contains field names and next okay then here you're going to change the data types for this file now the data types will be according to what you see here so i'm just going to slightly um, minimize this let me just do this i'm going to slightly minimize this mm -hmm. okay and reduce on this one I cannot reduce it <laughs> okay so I could um, okay it's fine I'll be checking so board and um, board ID and tree ID they are both text so we'll leave them at data type text text okay so they're both short text and then um, thickness um, thickness is numeric width is numeric and length is numeric okay so this one is double is fine because it's numeric um, what double means is that it has going is number that's going to support decimal uh, points okay decimal uh, number digits if you want so length is also double then um, drain is text ready is boolean sold is boolean and then price is numeric or currency so this one is short text um alternative what you can do is just go to advanced and then you can select um you can have them like this so you have um drain it's supposed to be short text let me just put it here so drain here is short text and um, ready is um, supposed to be ready and sold supposed to be logical so we're going to change that and then price is supposed to be currency so let's go ahead and change this here so this one is supposed to be currency no this one's supposed to be boolean and this one boolean as well but this one is supposed to be um uh, price is supposed to be currency and say okay okay so we've managed to change these okay and this is currency so next then um, set board ID as primary key so primary key is supposed to be board ID and go to next and finish this table all right so close it next import the file m17 trees.csv into your database as a new table with appropriate data and, and then you're supposed to set tree id as the, the primary key so we're going to go ahead and do that so import browse and then import the trees um the trees um okay csv file and then go to next first row contains field names and then here you can work around now with the field types 
So you look at the data that is there and it will give you an idea of the type of data that is there. So here is long integer that should be fine. Um, location um, is text, 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 that should be fine. And choose tree ID as primary key, so that should be fine. Next, and finish this one. Okay. Next, examine the file m17locations.csv and decide on appropriate data types for each field. So we're going to open this file, the locations.csv. Okay, I'm going to open it with um, Excel, that should be fine. And then we're going to examine it. So enlarge it, select it, and examine this one. Now, if you look at um, this one is text, 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 and the telephone number um, is a number. But we need to be very careful with the telephone numbers, okay? Because some telephone numbers will need the country code, and most country codes they will start with a plus sign symbol, and the plus is not text, uh, rather it's not a number, but it is text, okay? So if you're going to include the plus sign symbol, then you're going to include text, and then also some text numbers um, they will have. Um, some phone numbers they will have spaces in between the phone numbers to differentiate the country code as well as um, the actual the area code and um, the phone number itself okay so it is you are usually safe to uh, make the telephone number as text as opposed to making it as um, uh, integer also um, an integer has got a limit on the size that you can have. So long integer, for example, could have maybe about 4 billion, um, uh, the largest number that you could get somewhere there. I'm not so sure, but you have some limit um, on the length of um, or the, the size of the integer that you can accommodate. So to be on a safe site, you should just use text, okay, because of these restrictions that you have on integers and all. Okay, so we told to, so we de we have decided this is text, 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 text. So everything could be text. Okay, so I'm going to close this file, and I'm not going to save any changes that I've made here. So come back here, and go to text file and import locations M117 locations, and go on. Next. So first row contains field names, and um, next, this is short text, short text, short text, everything should be text, okay? Everything should be text, okay? The text, and this one is saying it's long integer, please change it to text as well. Why? For the reasons that I've just said here, that um, integer has got a limit on the maximum and size that it can accommodate okay so if this phone number you added um if you were to add a, 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 a phone number which was a very long number integer would restrict um that okay so just put it as text okay the next and then primary key is supposed to be location code let's just verify that so location code is supposed to be the primary key so come here and next and then finish it okay next we're supposed to examine the file m17 no 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 we're supposed to go evidence for placing your evidence document screenshots showing the field names and data types used in each of the three tables field names and data types used in each of the three tables so open them in design view then get so the price is supposed to be um, like this okay so this one is supposed to be um, change it to currency and then number of decimal places are supposed to be two now we are going to do the field names and all and all this uh, I mean I mean the screenshots and all but I like it first of all to get this done okay so the sword is supposed to be format we're told it's supposed to be yes or no and then ready also is supposed to be yes or no 
so format changes to yes or no so then get a screenshot of this include this part for the number of decimal places just to be on the safe side okay and get this one so this is the first screenshot that we're going to get okay so database um, database field structure screenshots here um, so this is structure of the three tables so just paste this one there one then let's go um, let's go and change the second one so let's go design view so save this one first then get a screenshot of this okay um, you can you can cancel this close this one so that um, yeah save it so get a screenshot of this and paste it here just below this one and the last one so close this one as well and get a, a screenshot of this one so the essence is to make sure that the name here is of the table that is selected and paste it here as well okay so that should be fine next um, we are supposed to create a one to many relationships okay I don't know how much time I've used but when we get to the section um, let me just see how much time I've used I don't want each video to be very long so I've used 11 minutes so let me just go up to 15 minutes for the video okay so let's create um, 20 step 23 says create one to many relationships that link between the three tables um, use the tree ID field in the trees table to link to the trees um, uh, the tree ID field in the boards table and then the location field um, uh, call uh, um, the location code field in the locations table to link to um, the location code field in the trees table and um, we are going to do some evidence document stuff okay so close the tables before you create relationships make sure that all tables are closed otherwise um, access will not allow you to do that so relationships and select um, all the tables that you want and say close and then you are going to create now um, a relationship between these um, tables okay so I'm just going to place these tables somewhere around now we are going to create um, links between these tables so each table should have its own primary key as you can see now we know that we know that um, a primary key actually links to the foreign key or the foreign key links to a primary key to create a relationship so I'll do something like this because I see there is um, tree here and there's tree ID here so link this one to this one okay and when you create um, when you create um, a relationship okay you need to make sure that um, you enforce referential integrity now what referential integrity means is that um, when you have um, two columns okay one is supposedly to be a column that compose of the primary key and then the other one is going to be a column or a field for the foreign keys so what happens is that a referential integrity checks to see that each uh, each foreign key has a matching primary key okay so uh, sometimes you find that you may have a foreign key um, existing in one uh, column and then they, you do not have a corresponding primary key um, in another table okay maybe because that record was deleted so you do not have a matching primary key so refresh integrity is going to flash an error to say hey you have this there, there is an existing foreign key here we agree but there's no matching primary key or there is a matching primary there is a primary key but there's no matching foreign key um, either way can work so when you reinforce refresh integrity this should be the case but sometimes um, um, tables may exist where one record is missing and it has a foreign key in the other record that should not be the case but it is very good uh, practice in database to match this okay so create the key and um, so here you create a one to many um, one to many um, relationship okay 
Now, the other thing that I want to um, point out is that um, um, so we have a relationship here. Then we need to let me see edit relationship. Um, hmm, hmm, hmm. Okay, let me undo this one for the sake of um, this relationship. Okay. Mm. Okay. Okay. I, w I, I was almost getting worried because I wanted to show um, this window, okay, as evidence of a one to many relationship being created. As you can see here, it shows here that it's a one to many relationship because I noticed down here we are told that place in evidence showing the relationship between the three tables and we are told to create a one to many relationship. So the only way that you're going to show that it's a one to many relationship is it will show down here that it's a one to many relationship. Okay. So that should be fine. So the other one is when you get this one and match it with the location ID try to enforce referential integrity on this one as well now notice that access here denies you it says access can't create this relationship and enforce refresh integrity so there's, there's data that is in this other table that is uh, it violates refresh integrity rules for example there may be records relating to employee in the related table but no record for the employee in the primary table and this is what i was trying to talk about here where you could have a one record existing in one table and the other record has been deleted in the other table and so refresh integrity um, shows you that but the beauty about this one in database um, 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 technology is that um, um, it makes sure that um, when you delete one record from one table it is also deleted in the other table so the all instances in all the other tables are deleted uh, programmers like to use this concept um, so that they keep data close to each other um, um, so that when you delete one table or one data in one table all instances of the other ones um, should be deleted if need be okay if you are, that is if you are wiping the entire table but again there are cases when you delete one um, statement or one record from the table and then you don't need the other parts to be deleted okay so let's say okay so we are going to remove the information integrity and say okay now we need to show the relationships that are existing as uh, evidence here so let's start with this one so get this one drop it here and edit it and okay so let's just go get a screenshot of this so this is the relationship between the trees and the other one and um, boards table and get a screenshot of this and paste it in your evidence document okay so the relationship between three tables so this is the first relationship go back here okay cancel this one get this one um, this one rather and drop it here and edit it as well okay so get a screenshot of this and paste it in your evidence document okay now what I'm going to do I'm going to end this video here on step 23 and we're going to start with step number 24 in the next video so I'll see you just in a short while in the next video